Hey. Yep, just steal, steal my spotlight. Yep, no worries, see cool. <laughs> it's nice, it means a lot. The group has definitely put in a good four months of training and a good whole year of training coming off of NCAA. So it's really nice to see your teammates kind of be there with you and knowing how hard they also have worked to get to that point is definitely very rewarding for them and it's just a testament to how special it is to be on Stanford women's swim team. I have gone to Japan. Um, I traveled to Japan for um, NCSA Junior Nationals. They had a trip go to Japan. I'm not sure exactly what year it was, but they had an all-star team. So, um, yeah. Different part of Japan, though. Being in that place, being in the culture, I mean, you're going to be eating different foods first um, hand. The time difference of kind of adjusting to that in the travel. And just kind of, I think overall, just the atmosphere of being in Tokyo and knowing, you know, in a couple of years you're going to be back there, hopefully, at the Olympics is something that's going to excite you and hopefully motivate me and the other Team USA athletes to get back there in 2020. Usually I'll sleep. Um, I My philosophy probably is not the best philosophy, but I'll stay up super late the night before so I'm exhausted and then I'll just sleep essentially the entire flight, kind of pull all-nighter. Um, but it's nice, sometimes I get turned around to the time zone pretty quickly, so I think it works and it works for me. I did tear a swimsuit. I tore a swimsuit before the 100 pre final. What happened? Did you have I just put on an old suit. Did you have time to. Yeah, I mean. You don't freak out a little bit? Yeah. I definitely did freak out. It's it's pretty tough just because the suit's sticking to you and then you're trying to be careful, but then you have to tug a little harder and then it just rips. And a lot of us, a lot of swimmers gave themselves a lot of time. I had people come in like events before they were supposed to swim because they knew how hard it was going to be for them to put on a suit. So we tried to manage it as best as we could could but when things rip more than you would like them to and when you're taking 25 minutes to put on a suit as opposed to 10 or 15 it kind of makes a difference and every now and then you get a little flustered but everybody had to deal with it and I got a suit on and I raced for the did first time. Did the suit for this? No. But did that take 25 minutes to put the second suit on? No it was old. So it, so it, came, on. it came on pretty easy. I, I, I felt like it wasn't worth it to kind of put on a new suit and spend another 20, 20 minutes on it and stress and that was just... Game. It gets the adrenaline pumping, doesn't it? Yes and no. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta calm down a little bit or else I would have probably gone out too fast in the 100. 